We begin tonight at 6 o'clock with breaking news. Police say a woman working at a Northside business was shot by a stray bullet. And in just the last 10 minutes, we were able to obtain this. This is security video that shows the possible road rage that led to the gunfire there near Keystone and 71st Street. You can see a silver SUV leaving the gas station and a light-colored van parked on the north side. The driver of that van gets out and runs and fires shots. We've got Jer John Duran joining us live tonight at 6 from the scene of the shooting near 71st and Keystone. John, what happened today? Scott, this, there was a lot going on in a very vast crime scene. Right behind me is that silver minivan. Police say the person who fired shots was driving, getting taken away from the scene right now. But it all started on South Keystone, they say two cars got into a crash, pulled into this Shell gas station to talk it over. Then that silver minivan pulled in behind. And the next thing you know, police tell us the person inside that minivan started firing shots at those two cars involved in that crash. But the bullets didn't hit anybody uh, that luckily involved in that crash. However, bullets traveled across Keystone to Sullivan Hardware and Garden into the garden center in the very back and hit an employee there, uh, putting her in critical condition, police say, but stable. If you're thinking about using your weapon, make sure you use it correctly because it, it, a situation like this, somebody else that had nothing to do with anything got hurt in this situation. Someone who was just trying to go to work, working you know, all day long, got hurt in this situation. So you have now changed and altered the life of this person forever. You saw that silver minivan get taken away in a, in a tow truck uh, just a few moments ago. Police say that person originally fled the scene but came back, uh, was taken into custody as being questioned uh, by detectives. We'll bring you updates uh, from this case as they become available. But this comes on the heels of a very violent weekend in Indianapolis where seven people were shot uh, in less than a 24-hour period on Saturday and Sunday. Four of those shooting victims were under 18 years old. Very violent weekend, um, starting off with a, a violent Monday here in Indianapolis as well. Send it back to you guys in the studio.